He's going to the Hall, Hall of Famer. Famer. Yeah, he's a gold jacket. All right, let's do the Mount Rushmore. All right, I'm taking my sweatshirt off. All right. I'm, I'm dying. So he's going you to have a tank top on, on the YouTube. <laughs> You're going to get to see even more. Oh, Ryan. he's got something on underneath there. I don't. Oh, some like gnarly that. pit stains. Yeah, no, I'm pitting out bad. Um, okay, we're going to do the Mount Rushmore of mundane, everyday tasks that should be Olympic sports. We have four teams. Ryan, you're, you're with yourself. Uh, that sounds Kind of your right. thing, yep. Uh, Billy and Jake. We got the team producers, Batgirl and Memes, and then PFT and I. Um, Ryan, why don't you decide the order? So we're going four deep. Snake draft. Okay. Uh, Mount Rushmore of everyday activities that should be Olympic sports. PFT first because I feel bad. That's me and PFT. Oh. Trying to break you guys can't up. do it on yeah. your own. Well, so, so only yeah. some people can host solo. <laughs> One uh, of many. That's me. <laughs> all right. You guys can go first. Thank uh, you. Billy goes second. And then Jake? No, no, Jake and Billy are together. Okay. Oh, it's just three. It's four. It's four? Yeah, the producers. Can I do a worse job with this? Or yeah. do you want to try it again and see if I can do it even worse? All right. I'll go last. So okay, it's, all right. it's so you we'll two go guys, the room. Yeah, Billy. Yeah. yeah, we'll go around the room. Yeah, yeah. Right. okay, all right, perfect. All right. 93 fish. Whew. All right, this is big, PFT. This is a big first one. So, I think the first one that I sent First to you, one is good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Parallel parking should be an Olympic sport. Either you're good or you're bad, like when you're really good. And I, I don't like the – it is kind of a Mickey Mouse thing now with the, all the cameras. Mm -hmm. I never even use that stuff. I like never use it. they explain it when you're buying a new car and you're like, and if you hit this button, I'm like, fuck yeah. that. No, no, no. Yeah. Old school parallel parking, when you get it in one shot, best feeling in the world, especially when, like, if you're in a big city. The city? And people you have, it's like docking it's an audience. People yeah, watching yeah. and then cars mm -hmm. behind you. If you showed me parallel parking in the Olympics, I would watch it, and it would be so entertaining. So entertaining. The only thing it would be, I think it would be more entertaining to watch. It would be like American Idol. Like, I think I'd rather see somebody Regular who just people? has no chance. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just take some guy yeah. off the street, give him a, a, a manual transmission, yeah. too. Yeah. Just watch chaos ensue. Yeah. Manual transmission, yeah, that'd be tough. That'd be tough. You guys yeah. even know what that is anymore? No. Remember, remember the license to drive? You ever see that? What's that? Good movie. Check it out. What, what, year, what year was it made? 1950? Yeah, 51 maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Billy and Jake, you guys are up. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, we're going to go with carrying groceries. Yep. That's, uh -huh. That was on our list. That's a good one. It's, a, uh, it's an impossible thing that you always think that you can just like, I got it. I got it. And you always drop something. But, man, that's fun. And then you get up to the door and you're like, wait, I, I actually can't open the door now. Yeah. So you have to put it down anyways. I like when the circulation gets cut off in the yes, forearm. Yes. You know, and like that plastic CVS bag is just like cutting into you. I also like when you have so many groceries and then you have like the paper towels or the toilet paper and you and you and you po poke your finger in the plastic wrapping so then you just have the toilet paper by one single finger. Yeah. It's and just like yeah, and you're just like yeah. this with everything else. That's good. That's a great time. God, good pick. That's a really good one. Good pick. All right, back girl. Um, we're going to go with holding in a shit when you don't have access to an easy bathroom. Ooh. Just not, not using the bathroom. Texas poop gross. hold. Not soiling yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Texas poop hold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just really want to see Texas poop hold them is, is what it is. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's, I mean, yeah, that's a very tough thing to do. Mm -hmm. Especially when you, when you gamble, there's nothing worse than when you gamble on like, uh, I got to go out for like an hour. And you're like, ah, I think I'm good. And then like 10 minutes into being out, you're like, oh, I'm not good. I did that today on the train. I got on New Jersey Transit, which we know they're incompetent, thanks mm -hmm. to Frank the Tank. And I drank a giant thing of water before I got, got on. And then I forgot that they don't have bathrooms on the oh. train. And so I'm just signing my own death warrant. It's yeah. like, okay, an hour and a half on this train. You better hold it That's an in. initiation some places to get in. Yeah. Just hang Do on exactly to it. Exactly that. Yeah. yeah. It's bad. It's bad. Okay. Ryan, you're up. You have two picks. I know. Um, everyday thing. I love my ability to be able to throw a towel into a bin. Ooh, oh, yeah. Okay. And especially like when it's, there's a little moisture on it. Yeah. And you have the weight right. And I have a little routine at the Equinox. Oh, you go to the gym? I do. And I'll like, I'm getting out to like almost 20 yards. Ooh. Like it's, it, it's aggressive what I'm trying to pull mm -hmm. off. And it's a slot too right um but it's it's like flat 
So you have to kind of go in. It's not like straight at you. It's on it's top. It's like playing like bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will. I'm like out there. These are like routes, and I have it. And I when I hit it, I like look around to be like, did anyone see me do that? Do you and yell I, anything? You're like Kobe or anything? I've Maybe. had a couple where I was like, holy shit, man, that was good. <laughs> and then you're like, you're the biggest loser ever because you just said that out loud. But you. I really love that. I'd like to see other people just randomly, like when I get a yeah. chance to throw something into something, I'm yeah. like, I love this, and I yeah. would watch it. I'm, like I'm automatic that. on socks into the laundry yep. bin, like in my apartment. The towel thing is tricky because in, in the gym, you might have like a bathroom attendant that's walking around the corner, and you're shooting from like 20 yards away, and you just hit him with and, the towel. And it's got to be it's got to be gym towels because gym towels are always a little thinner. You yeah. know, and I mean, because you can't weight. do the big ones yeah. that you have at home. The AC's blowing. Who yep. knows? You get caught up in <laughs> some sort of dust. The elements. <laughs> yeah, but I like. That's a good pick. Yeah, I, I've just noticed that I'm like, you keep trying to see where this is going to go. All right. Uh, I'm trying to think which ones I think you guys will take uh, versus which ones I think are available. All right, I'll just go with it. Uh, stopping the gas pump. Yep, on a yep. dollar. We oh, had that. We had it. Yeah. Yep. I That's love it. I'll start going 97, 97, and then it's like, boom, right off. When I'm locked in, I feel great. Yeah, some people will say, well, you don't need to do that anymore because it's not the 90s. But to them, I say, I still do that at a gas pump just because it's cool to see it stop on that perfect Yeah, yep. In Iceland, you have to tell them ahead of time how much you want to pump. Really? So, yeah, I mean, it's a pain in the ass. But a lot of people don't know that. It's not as many people travel. <laughs> Okay, Billy. Is it harder to do that now that you know gas prices with Joe Biden are just like through the roof? <laughs> There's a lot of factors, PFT. Yeah. <laughs> Name two of a, them. It's not just our leadership. <laughs> All right, Batgirl, you guys are up. Good picks. Um, we're gonna go with timing commercials. Ah, mm. that was also on our list. Yeah. Yep, we had yeah, that one too. too. That's a great one. I. I have three TVs, so I don't have to deal with that anymore. But I still think I could. I like when people are like. Oh, you're watching yeah. the, the Blue Jays and you're not watching the Titans. Yeah, yeah. I always I like, treat him a picture. I when people say yeah, that to it me, should be everyone. I treat him a picture. Yeah, everybody on the content side should just start being like, "Do you guys seriously think we have one fucking TV yeah. in our room?" It's just like I, I people always be like, "You're watching playoff hockey instead of playoff basketball," and I treat him a picture of all three games on. I'm like, "What are you gonna do now, dude?" Yeah, suck it. Yeah. It's a nice flex. It's I think the best if you if it's NFL Sunday and you've got Fox on one or you got Fox on your TV. And you also check back on this the CBS game, and you hit it right as they're snapping yep. the ball on first down. Yep, it's such a good feeling. Yeah. Okay. Good pick, Billy and Jake. We're gonna go with pissing, aiming, and distance. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Piss Olympics would be very fun to watch. Shit. Who, who can piss the farthest? Yeah. Ooh. Who's got the best accuracy? Yeah. McC yep. McConaughey was saying in his book that like his dad and him used to have contests not for distance, but for height. They would see who could pee up the highest yeah. on the wall. Yeah, I think he said that his dad could pee up like eight feet. That's eight feet. Yeah. Crazy. That's not that crazy. That's crazy. How, it isn't, Billy. You know, I think how I far can, can you? <laughs> I think I can make my piss go outside and piss in the hallway. Try it. it. Yeah, right. dude, we gotta do it. Go do it right. I think you could piss. I think you could see how you in the hallway at no, this office what, and no one notice. Go see. No, well, I gotta piss for. I gotta have to pee first. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. So drink some water. Okay. All right. I think and I could get piss on the, on the ceiling. I think I could hit the ceiling. I don't think I could. I don't. Pissing on the ceiling. Uh, cover without a whip <laughs> though. You can't whip. You can't whip. Yeah, that we're I, talking. Yeah, because wh a whip is a. I could piss on the ceiling with a whip. We're talking prostate only. Yeah, yeah. You're I just, think I you're just power just it. raw power. Yeah, maybe you know what? Maybe maybe now that I think about this, maybe eight feet isn't that impressive. Not laying. It down. It sounds impressive. I kind of want to see you try to. Pee I on definitely the don't ceiling. think they were laying down. <laughs> now I got to see Billy pee lying down. <laughs> <laughs> straight up into laying the air. Billy, down. I don't. Straight, just power. Standing, standing. Maybe power. Billy's right. Yeah. I mean, we got to see it now. Oh, fuck. I'll do it in the bathroom. Okay. Great. Yeah. Just like mark it on the wall. Do it in the corner. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me you can do it wherever you want. It's a good experiment. I yeah. like this. Drink up. I want to see who can piss the farthest. Yeah, this is the Olympics. Um, okay, good pick. All PFT, right, where do we want to go? Yeah, this is a tough one because they took two of ours. Yeah. Um, I, I like the second to last thing that I sent you um, in that big block. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, and I like the one above it, too. So why don't you go with the second last one and I'll go with the one or the one two above it. Okay. Yeah. Um, hitting every light in a row, mm -hmm. uh, seeing how many you can get. The yeah. best. It's awesome. Is Riding it great the wave when you really know an yes. area too, and you're like, if I get this one, yep. that means well, yep. you can sometimes go like the entirety of Manhattan in 
like 10 minutes if you hit because we when we're never, he, i've never had a moment like that when we hit when we work late here on sunday nights and we like go home at like two o'clock i've rode the wave a couple times and it is such a throw there's you just uh, hit one and you're like i'm good for the whole way home there's this road in in dc constitution avenue and if you hit it perfectly if you get to that first light just as it's turning green so you see it turn from red to green you know that you can drive all the way from the bridge past congress no stops whatsoever and then you get towards the end and by the end you're running like kind of running a red light or two it's you're barely making the end of that yellow well, congress light. is never doing yeah. anything yeah congress don't yeah. want to shit about it no. but uh it's Steal it's exhilarating money. it's such a good feeling because you know that you're about to have the best drive ever yeah um i'm just right. get excited thinking about it it's it's i want to run a best. car um all right our next pick is going to be now this one i actually think like you could actually really have a great competition you have Everyone is laying there sleeping, and it's who can wake up before the alarm closest to the alarm. Because, god damn, does that happen every fucking day. And everyone thinks, like, I'm the best at always waking up a minute before my alarm. And having people try to wake up as close to their alarm as possible. Billy, this probably doesn't count for you. Uh, before their alarm hits. What a, what a thrill that would be. What is that? How come we haven't unlocked what that brain power it's is? It's crazy. That when you go, hey, I'm going to set my alarm, and then I'm going to wake up. And like, I can't believe how often I wake up right before the alarm. So Every day. Why are we yeah. not untapping what that ability is and applying that to more things? It's just your rhythm. The Olympics. Why you're, aren't we seeing who's clock. the best? I was talking to a security guard one time. This story blows my mind. That, that Humble this, brag. No, that this dude, is he is built different. He was telling me he wakes up every morning at 4 a.m. He has never used an alarm. He wakes up at four o'clock in the morning every single day. He doesn't obviously have a snooze button, but he says sometimes if I'm feeling tired, I'll wake up at four and then I'll close my eyes and I'll count to 60 seven times in a row and then I'll open my eyes again. That's my snooze button. <sighs> Fucking maniac. Did you that's have psycho. on macro dosing? What the fuck are no, you talking about? No, he's, just a, he's, a, he's a psychopath. That's crazy. Yeah. I had one moment and then I still don't really explain other than my content brain just overpowers my life. I was in France. It was whatever it was, 2018, 2019, when LeBron signed with the Lakers. So it's like three or four in the morning. I woke up out of a deep, deep sleep, out of nowhere, just woke up, looked at my phone, stared at my phone. 20 seconds later, the Woj alert happens. LeBron signs with the Lakers. I still don't know how that happened. And I spent the next three hours just tweeting. It, you know, in the middle of the night <laughs> from France. And I was like, what's going on with my brain? It was crazy. I watched it like I watched the alert go on my phone. That's weird. It was weird. It was very, very eerie. I mean, obviously, we knew he was going to sign somewhere that week, but still. It was fun. It, yeah, it, no, it, that's not what you're saying. Yeah, it right? made me realize, like, maybe I should take a break. This isn't an argument about yeah. everybody knew he was going to the yeah. Lakers. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. It was fucked up. No, I've been having a lot of this stuff. Like, there was this this guitar player... That uh, I just recently started teaching myself how to play guitar. Really? And, yeah, but I not a midlife play. crisis for anyone who's gonna say that in the comments. No, I've always wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. um, but it's uh, the boat that you bought too. Well, it's an investment. <laughs> it's an investment. Sorry, MMA I'm getting you back for the PFT. The MMA class has been great though. <laughs> <laughs> you brown belt now? <laughs> you know, my dojo. We don't really <laughs> like to categorize. You know, everybody knows who's who. Yeah, we don't, Ryan is, we don't need a belt to fucking prove it. You have many, many black listen, belts, many instructors. Listen, it's like the nuts. We're not making fun of Ryan. If you want to see a sick rendition of Hotel California on his newly purchased boat, he will be ready in about a month. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, babe. So, hey, babe. You know I well, play the guitar. <laughs> what's that like when you get a guitar at this age? Because. When, when you there's learn, a very specific style that I'm trying to teach myself. Yeah, there's certain songs that like this isn't hotel you can't California. you can't just do like the beginner stuff. What are you right? doing? Finger picking? Yeah, you're not playing. John you, Fahey. As a man, you can't pick up a guitar and be like, "I'm learning this." And then th your first instruction is like, "Mary had a little lamb." No, no, I'm watching these finger picking videos, and I'm teaching myself how to do it. And so far, so good. <laughs> uh, I'm classically trained, so just have the ear. And what? I have the ear. Choir. Okay. You know that? No. Yeah. So, uh, really? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, whose pick is it? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, the point is that I was reading the Led Zeppelin biography, which is actually more of a bummer than it is. It's a good book, but it's a bummer. Those guys kind of suck. And uh, then you, they were talking about how Jimmy Page was, like, as I was thinking about John Fahey, 
they mentioned how Paige was obsessed with Fahey as I was doing it. That's the worst Whoa. story I've ever told in the podcast. No, no. I liked it. It's, it's the same that's the universe. It's the same thing. Bro. Right. I was like, how insane is it that this very, I bet you 99.9% of the people listening are like, who are you talking about? Don't mm-hmm. even worry about it. And when I was, I was thinking about him as I was reading the book, because I was like, oh, I got to figure out this new part. It's been really hard. And then I was like, that's insane that that just happened. It's, mm-hmm. it's the moments that you're like, are we living in a simulation? Yeah. And the alarm clock. Good pick, Jake. It'd be fucking great. Oh, I, 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 had a, I had a fucked up alarm thing happen to me two weeks ago. This is this is fucking. Remember insane. the day we thought you died? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's that, that one. Up. So we what, actually, I actually thought. PSG so was dead. one day I forgot to set my alarm, and I just slept, and I just didn't stop sleeping. Usually I wake up, even if I don't have an alarm, I wake up at like nine, ten a.m. Whatever. Uh, I just slept until about noon. Maybe it was twelve thirty. I had to be on the radio at eleven a.m. So I slept all the way through that. People thought I was dead. Big yeah. Cat thought that I was dead. I was dead. like, he might be dead. I woke up, you look at your phone, and it's just like a text message of, uh, from everyone that you know in your life being like, are you okay? Are you okay? And then you feel like a piece of shit. But I didn't do anything wrong. I just like slept too long one day. Right. I came into work, and everybody was like, PFT's on drugs. Yeah. You know, like everyone's very concerned about me. And I'm like, I swear to God, I literally just slept. That's all that happened to me. But um, that's not the crazy alarm story. The crazy alarm story is I set my alarm. Like this is, I know about a month ago, uh, because I have to get breakfast. I'm in a hotel. I have to get breakfast before I get on the cab that takes me back to the airport. It's taking a bunch of people back from the airport. So, um, in order to do that, I have to order my room service an hour before I wake up because it takes them forever. Damn that new so, contract. Really so, nice. so I set my alarm. Yeah, first world problems. Man. Yeah. So I set my <laughs> alarm, and uh, as I'm setting it to 6 a.m. The label on the alarm just pops up because I had just said to my friend, I was like, I got to set my alarm for 6 a.m. so I can remember to order room service before I actually have to wake up. I set it to 6 a.m. and the title of the alarm is order room service Mm. automatically pre-programmed into my phone. I swear to God, I I stopped stopped and I showed it to everybody. I was like, you guys are witnesses. This, yeah, it just heard me say this. That's Steve Jobs, and it automatically programmed my phone. That motherfucker's all up in our ass. Yeah, the phone stuff is. Uh, there's too many times where something happens. I go, this sucks, man. Yeah, yeah. they know everything. They make They're it too easy. Everything. All right, Jake and Billy. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with uh, stopping the microwave before it beeps. Right? Oh. Zero. Yeah, that's a good one. I saved my seconds. Yeah, you gotta you gotta reuse. Save your well, seconds. What, what'll happen is you get down to like one second, you stop it, and then you put the food in. The next time you use it, and you just click plus one minute, plus one minute, plus mm-hmm. one minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another thing a guys will do is they'll use the wrong numbers just to keep the keypad fresh. Mm. You ever heard that one? No, no. that's no, a lot of like guys. One zero zero or whatever or ninety. Be like, if I can throw an eighty four on this, <laughs> so that you don't wear down. Yeah. the yeah. ones. Now, yeah. when you say a lot of guys, <laughs> yeah, not many. Not many. Okay, got it. Okay. That's actually <laughs> almost no one. That's somebody, actually genius. Yeah, no. Somebody showed it to me once, and they were like, "Oh, I'm like, what? You just typed in 112 yeah. or whatever." Actually, that wouldn't be a good example. But like, yeah, instead of 90 seconds, it was like 86. And he's like, "Yeah, keep keep the keypads fresh." <laughs> <laughs> what a psycho! Yeah. Uh, it like, ups, uh, it my, ups the resale value. My <laughs> fucking one is down again. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta call my uh, my one guy out here. All right, Batgirl. Team back, girl. Some good picks. We're going to go with uh, getting out of small talk. Ooh. Ooh. What's your move? I would not be participating in this Olympic event, <laughs> but I would like to watch other people participate yes, in this yes, Olympic event. That's a, that would be actually awesome to watch. Just put them in a situation where it's like a really bad coworker that you have to like walk to work with and yeah. figure out a way like, Oh, I gotta go get a cup of coffee, or, yeah. or, some, or some sort of situation where. Yeah, the most seamless, and we could have it be like ice skating. Yes. Where it's judges. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I know. I know who will win the gold medal because he did it to me. Who? The Miz. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, one of the biggest dick moves I've ever had anybody do to me in my entire life. <laughs> Espy's party. You know, I'm with Chris Long. I'm with like other dudes. I think Glazer was with us. I think we had a UFC dude that was with us. I think Jules was with us. Like it wasn't like the crew was a bunch of mill carton guys, right? right? And Miz was there, and I was like, oh, hey, what's up? He's like, oh, we, we've done this before. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, this whole thing, like, hi, I'm you, and I'm, I'm me. Yeah, we've done this, pal. Like, we don't need to do this again. <laughs> and I was like, that's the biggest fuck you I've ever gotten from anyone in any – I had never met him before, mm-hmm. ever. Like, I never was on any of those TV shows the whole time. It, that guy would be Phelps. Yeah, it's incredible. Felt. Well, that would be an he interesting straight up judge. to my face was like, yeah, yeah, we, yeah pal, we're good. So uh, we've fucking done this before. Y- you would get like great scores for for the 
quickness, but the tact you'd lose points on if it was an Olympic event. I didn't want to talk to him. I mean, we, he got out of that conversation pretty quick fast, after that. Fast. I mean, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe yeah. if it was a gymnast, it would be like yeah. that routine wasn't the hardest, but damn, it was efficient. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like the German yeah. judge gives you high marks on that one. Yeah. yeah. Did the you, dismount. in that moment, did you like blame yourself? Were you thinking, well, I must be just no fun to talk to? Or were you cognizant of the fact that that's weird? He's being a dick. I was like, fuck him. Yeah. I was, I was not thrilled. Yeah. But. Then, like, when it's one of those guys, you're kind of like, all right, what are you going to really do about it? Like, it's the Miz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Although, I don't know, you know. So, But I, well, I was I was like. Oh, wait, wait. Was that? Was yeah. that I don't know, like, you could take him? Yeah. Why would you put a cap on yourself? <laughs> right? Why would you have a salary like, cap? I don't know. Any... If shit went yeah. down, like, yeah. it's not it's not guaranteed. Yeah, right. I mean, I know what the line would be. But, you know, don't put a salary cap on any part of your life. <laughs> Douglas B. Tyson. Shit happens. Yeah, what if I had a bad week? What mm -hmm. if I was super mad about something else in my life? Yeah. You know? <laughs> you have two picks, right? You have your last two. <laughs> uh, I can't believe this one hasn't been taken yet because it would be a, both be fascinating and you would learn packing. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. great one. I great suck pick. at it still. Great mm -hmm. pick. Do you always forget something or There's do you always overload? There's always one thing yep. that I'm like, and then as soon as I come back from the trip, it's on the bed. Yep. Yeah. Every time. I've been They'll forgetting be... underwear. Like, I'll I forget a whole. forgot pants. Yeah. Like, I put all the, I think these, these luggage containers, like you, everybody buys them going, oh, this is awesome. Yeah. And know what ends up happening is I leave one. And then, like, I did a trip the other time. I was like, you left all the pants in that one cube. You have no <laughs> fucking pants. <laughs> The whole week, you're not yeah. gonna have any pants, so that's yeah. why I wear the short shorts. It's not about my legs; <laughs> it's just about packing. So that's a great. I forgot pick. my pants for the yeah. seventh consecutive trip. Great yeah. pick. Great pick. <laughs> Would love to watch last the one. Olympics. Yep. Beach umbrella installation. Yes. Ooh, yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Ryan. I, that's a big problem facing Americans mm -hmm. today. Beach umbrellas. We're getting lax with it because when somebody's really good at it, you're like, "Wow, that's incredible." That guy's yeah. put some umbrellas in the beach. Yeah, yeah. you got to do the twist thing first, yep. and then you build it from the ground up. Yep, and they can and get... where to put it. You got to place it in the right spot. Like, yeah. there's a bad spot to put it where it's too far away from the people. Yep, somebody died this weekend in South Carolina because a beach umbrella got blown out of the ground and it stuck into somebody and killed oh, them. Man, and that's so badass. anytime I see the beach umbrella RIP. flying badass, down the beach, bad. I'm yes. like. There, there should be a rule Bummer on the beach. Podcast. If your umbrella gets blown out of the sand, it doesn't matter if it hits anybody. If you lose control of your umbrella, you're kicked off the beach yeah, for the rest of the day. You're banned. You're out of, you get ejected. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's like a home. different category of it. Yeah. Like there's speed installation, and then they'd have to do some It's in a wind tunnel, stuff, yeah. But then, yeah. Yeah, but then it's like, hey, instead of a medley, wind tunnel day. Yeah. Yeah. And yes. it just guys out there hoping yes. it holds up. Yeah. Yes. Then you gotta play the wind angles, you get a little geometry involved. Maybe have it maybe have, have one of the competitions be like you have to put the beach umbrella in when it's cloudy and then the sun comes out. Did you put it in the right place? Mm. I like that yeah. one. Yeah. So do you do it like you're saying you're really good at the speed? No, I once I learned that like rounded thing. Yeah. And then it's like Wait, do that again? You're, you're drilling it now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like that? Yeah. We're this gonna like don't worry, we're gonna blur right? your legs out because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Just the whole, just the whole <laughs> yeah. bottom yeah. half of these blur. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't. I wouldn't say I'm great at it. You yeah. Know? I uh -huh. mean, there's some of these things I just want to be better. Yeah. These, at. Yeah. Okay. These yeah. are things you want to watch right. too. Right. If this would have been like the Olympics thing of like me. It would have been forgetting names. Right. Yeah. I would. <laughs> nobody forgets a name faster than yeah. I. Yeah. I've tried those tricks. No, like they don't work. Because the other thing, too, it's like some of the tricks is like you're supposed to look at somebody's face. And I, I'm like bad with this. If you have a really aggressive, weirdly placed mole, I'm going to look at it the whole fucking time. Mm -hmm. I can't stop looking at it. But they'll tell you to do that to remember names. Be like, hey, you know, look at somebody's face. And then I'm like, what if, wait, wait, like, I don't know. When people that can remember names, that fascinates it's me. It's also just a shit show when like we were on Grit Week and there's there was nine of us and we'd show up somewhere. And there'd be like, you know, three or four dudes would be like, hey, what's up? And we go down the line. It's like none of us remember any of our names. Like, you know, when you do like the big meet and everyone's like, hey, I'm here. Oh, you're saying they don't remember your name. No, no. Like I, we can't remember theirs. We're meeting like four or five guys. They're meeting nine guys. Like, yeah, yeah. Right. It's just right. a fucking mess. Like, why do we even do it? All right. Uh, Batgirl. Last pick. Last pick. Another one. I'm kind of surprised. Has been picked yet, especially you. You talk about this a lot, Big uh, Cat. Uh -oh. Putting a cooler together. Ah, yeah. Packing a cooler would be good. Packing a cooler would be very good. Is that kind of like you talk a about that a lot? The tortilla, I've tortilla soup thing, though. What do you mean? Why is packing a cooler? Is it under the packing umbrella, or is it? 
Oh, you think that you're calling just, a flag I'm on asking, them? I'm just asking for clarification. Whoa, whoa. You're I think, no, it's, com- it's, Matt, it's a completely Matt, different art. Yeah, I mean, Matt, uh, completely uh, uh, different art. The Max, cooler right. is don't an let, art. Don't let yeah. Ryan yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. shame you. No, no, no. no that's, I just, that's for the that's listener. That's uncouth. That's for the listener. That's not for me. Very yeah. uncouth. Yeah. I'm, I, and I will defend that to the death. Yeah. Right. There's a there's a definite method to packing a cooler. You got to yes. go ice, a product, ice. I retract the inquiry. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Good pick, Max. Good pick. I think you guys are overselling it now, though. Great pick it, steal the draft. Uh, all right, Jake and Billy, last one, and then we have our last one. Our last pick is jaywalking, running through traffic. Oh, that's a good one. Real life Frogger. This is a game I used to play with my friends, uh, just running across the street trying to avoid getting hit by cars. <laughs> it was the Fun best game. rush. Of that's a great my game. Life. Uh, and I think it would be a great Olympic sport. Also, high stakes. Yeah. High viewership. Really yeah. high stakes. Very yeah. high stakes. Yeah. Maybe have it like during the 400 meter dash. You have to try to run between the runners that are running <laughs> during mm-hmm. the Indy 500. Yeah, good pick. And style points for like going in between close cars. What's your closest call? Uh, oh, <laughs> have you been hit by a car doing this? <laughs> the hood of a the hood of a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind really. Of cool. It was a. Pr- it was like one of those to- small Toyota ones. Oh, it was—it wasn't that big of yeah. a taxi. You would have—you would have. I mean, you got hit by a car doing this. <laughs> That's yeah, what you I mean, said. We, yeah, it, we, it we was a Corolla. It was, yeah, it was Corolla. It was like <laughs> you jumped onto the the hood. It was. It was. What the driver say? He yelled at me in some foreign language. I don't remember. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm elite at moving through well through crowds, but that's yeah. a little different of a. Very good. At it. You've always yeah, been good at it. Always been good at it. That was right. the hot soup thing. All right. Yeah. Hot soup. Yeah. Exactly. Callback joke. That's Titus's thing. I'll tell him that you ripped that off. Um, okay. <laughs> Last pick for us, PFT. What do we want to do? So I'm looking at yours. I I kind of like the second one that you sent me because I had something similar to that, but. Which which pointed to me in your the first thing the, okay the, the second first line. block of text the second line is good there I also like the one that was right before the hitting every light in a row okay so either one of those two mm. Mm. Whew. okay yeah let's go let's go with the the phone one okay is that what you're talking about yeah 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 uh, saving your phone from being smashed with your feet just breaking the fall a little bit just 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 that one little extra ooh you get a toe on it and everyone has to deal with it cuz everyone drops their phone but the events 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah right you're drunk and there's no case it's always no case no case never no, case, no, no. Ever. rookies rookies yeah. cases or, or it that? could be yeah i would are you kidding yes. me yes it's a, you wouldn't a, you wouldn't watch someone like like fumbling with their phone and trying to save it they can they have to use only their feet you'd have like fucking messi would win the gold medal right be if Messi were bad at it, it'd be like one of the most disappointing things yeah, ever. Yeah, it would be. Ever. Yeah. Ever. You wouldn't watch it? You want to just yeah. see people I, get hit by cars? That is a spectacle. <laughs> That's an Olympic sport. <laughs> okay, someone, if you don't like to pick, you don't like to pick. That's fine. Someone jumps over a car? Well, yeah, that'd like be cool to avoid too. it. Yeah, yeah but it was also every, everyday activities, right? Like everyday activities. Like, are right. you always avoiding Jaywalking's car, cars? Enough. Yeah, I mean, you're always jumping from the in subway? I just follow... I follow the fucking. Well, sometimes signs. you take chances. You know, it's like it's yeah, a no, ride, but no one's coming all the time. Then all a car the turns in. New York does have the best jaywalkers in the world. Oh, yes, yes, they're very aggressive. If you go to Williamsburg, people just walk in the street, and it's just like, what's going on here? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it because I, when I was uh, when I was in Europe, people were like, I just got back. Um, <laughs> they don't give a shit. I'm surprised you don't have an accent. You should do a pod uh-huh. with that. Start saying cheers. Yeah. Cheers. I asked a guy a question in French once when he was from the Expos, and the other two co-hosts were like, fucking loser. <laughs> just like, you're the worst. And I was like, all right, you know what? Noted. So I don't uh, I don't break that out. I'm not very good at it anymore anyway. Uh, we have honorable mentions. Do you have anything you... you we, no, we I'm missed? just excited to hear yours. Okay, we got... I got a couple... One that I don't think it could really be an Olympic sport, but I know that I'm very good at it, and I, so I don't know how you'd actually make the like sport... But eating all all the popcorn and snacks before the, the movie starts. I don't know like how you would because then it would just be a Joey Chestnut situation. But if you could figure out a way to make it a natural competition, it'd be fun to watch. Like, oh shit, this guy's got like the pace. There's only one preview left and he's like almost done. Would so, you always know, I imagine? I think you could you could pull it off as long as the people didn't know that didn't they were know. competing. Right, right. Because I would be I would I would win the gold in that. Do you eat all your popcorn before the movie Every starts? Every fucking last bite. 
And all this, all the candy too. Yeah, popcorn is weird. Where you're just like, oh, so I'm just not gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, for right. Twelve ever, minutes straight. Ever. Yeah. Like, is popcorn bad for you? Eh. I feel like it's good for you. Well, I think it's if you fruit, just go, right, Billy? Fruit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fruit. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, if you leave all the stuff off of it, I think you're fine. I yeah. Don't salt intake. If you did it all the time, probably wouldn't be great. But the, the other one I had, um, I had two others that are specific. Uh, knowing the moment a bet is 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 lost. PFT and Hank have always said that I have great ability of that of like doing the math in my head and being like oh no yeah if we don't score here in like the third quarter we're fucked yeah he's always like two steps ahead of where my brain is i'm like okay we're about to get a touchdown here then they'll probably have enough time before halftime to kick a field goal but then big cat's already running through the third quarter implications yeah. of this. and i'm just like no, no no if we don't get seven here we're done you're also very good at at watching sports yeah and by that i mean like we'll have the entire wall of tv set up and I'll have a soccer game that I'm betting on or a hockey game, and I'm paying more attention to all the other things. And within probably half a second of a goal being scored, Big Cat will be like, goal. Yeah. He just knows it when it happens. Yeah, you know what is kind of like that, it, but it's it's also different, is watching football with Stanford Steve. If you were like, oh, hey, that was to, you know, uh, that was, well, Thielen and Jefferson would be a little tough to confuse. Uh, if you... If you were watching a game and you were like, oh, who had the score on that? And then if you had it wrong, he'd be like, no, it was Ertz. And you're like, what? And he'd be like, it was Ertz on a slant. And then you're like, okay. And then I'd be like, oh, shit, was that the same guy? He's like, that was 22, that's 24. And you're just like, Jesus. Like, the guys that played football yeah, or coached, yeah. the, the way Billy knows, um, <laughs> the way they identify the things that happen in sequence, it's a completely different yeah, level. Yeah, of Edelman and Amendola. Yeah. That yeah. kind of mix-up. Um, That's a good one. Yeah. Because they're this, both stout. This yeah, one, though they play yeah. scrappy. Right. right. Uh, this one people will probably make fun of me for, but I am incredible at uh, keeping a cone clean, ice cream cone. Yeah, that, that kind of, you know, where I was just in Europe. That would come in handy there. People yeah. love gelato. And is yeah, it oh, everywhere? God. Are they making a mess or are they keeping it clean? It's great c cone maintenance. No, I was watching a couple kids eat their cones, and it was just awesome to see the selfishness of like a seven-year-old with mm -hmm. a cone. He's like, I'm making a mess. I'm getting it everywhere, and if this goes bad, I'm going to demand another one. Yeah, yeah. right, and I'm going to get clean. Like, someone's going to come clean me up after this. Yeah, right, yeah, and yeah. you have to clean me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I had taking a clean shit, mm -hmm. so like fewest amount of toilet paper swipes used. That would be a weird one to watch. It's, yeah, it, but yeah, I watch that one. that's one that's best on the radio <laughs> or on StatCast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't watch that, but... Uh, but yeah, someone... Yeah. Germans probably but would. But like the cleanest... Germans, yeah. yeah. Germans love, would, love, they they love the word shit. No, There's I think like they... 50 versions. The Germans want the messiest shit. Yeah, they That's want the shit on the into. chest. Uh, I had... Oh, you're talking like videos. Yeah. yeah. I, Michael Lewis wrote about it in Boomerang, where he talked about the German thing, and he was like, their fascination with the word shit is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. What is that about Germans? I don't know. I've been there, though. Oh, I'll yeah. Nice. I'll tell you about it. You're very worldly. Yeah. I had cooking the perfect steak. Without you know using internal thermometer, just knowing off the sizzle of the pan. Yeah. Actually, you asked like what the fights that we've gotten in on this podcast. The fight over medium rare plus is probably the most. <laughs> but it's only you, your serious side. fight. Yeah. See, it's, it's starting it's again. Very one side. It's starting again right now, Ryan. Uh, if you're out to dinner with the boys, hang yeah. out just chilling again, with the fellas. This is only on PF. Just side. chilling, chilling with the boys, and um, somebody at the table orders a medium rare steak, and then the person next to him says, "Can I have a medium rare plus steak?" What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, look, I guess you could say technically it is a different temperature. I would say most people, like, if you put down a plus and a medium rare in front of them, most people are never going to know the difference. Yeah. Interesting. I Whenever I go to a nice steakhouse, I don't like when they do. I always think medium rare, they always cook it a little bit closer rare. to rare. Yeah, and I like right. it a little bit more. And PFT doesn't like people to just live their life. No, it doesn't just, bother him whatsoever. I, as someone that's worked in a restaurant, I, I sympathize with the waiter. It has nothing to do with it. You just don't. You, you, I think it has to do with the fact that people have told me I'm right, and you don't like that. No, that I. That's why because I know. Yeah, I know what it's like from that side of the house. You could. You, you know what I steakhouse? You know what I like, like about anything though is oh, I don't like anybody fucking with how you want to eat. Thank okay? you. So I'm thank sorry, you. but like Cowherd, I don't know if you guys know him. Agile, sinewy. Yeah, physically. Uh, he would he would always he did like a rant once he's like don't be change your order guy and i was like what and we started he goes if there's a salad and you know you don't want to just pick them off I'm like or i could just ask you to not have fucking onions right because onion taste is still going to be on there Thank if you. i have to pick it off the whole time mm -hmm. coward also once made a point about you shouldn't ever check a bag which some people believe in 
But I'd be like, well, what if you're gone like a certain <laughs> yeah. number of days? Yeah. Like, you got to check it back. He'd be like, just buy new clothes and then mail them home. I'm like, well, wait, wait. <laughs> you think the solution <laughs> of the efficiency of not checking a bag is solved by buying new clothes on the road and then mailing them. <laughs> or you have seven people that work on the show that are always mailing your stuff. That's, yeah. that's the so. ultimate checking a bag is buying new clothes and then making a special trip to UPS to send your clothes yes. home separately. Yeah. But I, I, I tip well. I always, I never like am mean to waiters. I ask for a steak certain way. I don't think it's a big deal. The, uh, the coward thing also strikes me as he probably oh, went on vacation with, with his wife and he just got mad because he had to wait at baggage claim with her. He's like, we could have been home by now. Yeah, he had this massive baggage claim thing, and then he had this don't change the ingredients when you order at a restaurant. And I, <laughs> I like stopped him in the hallway to be like, Dude. I've never disagreed more. <laughs> yeah, about, right. Like, why, if I have the option to take something, like, why would I want stuff on it that I don't want right. on it that mm -hmm. I now have right. to, like, add this I don't level. want sardines on my Caesar salad. I, uh, I, I ate at a restaurant on Europe Friday, it a lot, though, and yeah. right on the menu it said, we kindly decline all substitutions or modifications. Like, right on there. It was, a, it was the nicest rejection I've ever had. Hey, look, when sometimes you do those those packages of food, I'm like, I kind of don't want that dessert. Yeah. Though. So, well, you know, do I say something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Any other honorable mentions? Anyone else? Spitting. Ooh. Nice Ooh, one. Spitting. I like yeah. That. That's good. I had one parent one, and it, it would be fun to watch be dangerous, but I do think the ability to just know the second that one of your small children is about to do something very dangerous on the stairs is a it would be a fun olympic sport to watch because it's just it's an innate parent they fall thing. down a lot huh yeah and it's also just like when there when there's like a parents will know what i'm talking about when there's like maybe more than like 20 seconds of silence you're like wait something bad is about to happen because they always are silent before the the danger it's never like if they're if they're giggling and laughing it's like ah oh, they're just fucking around but when 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 the silence happens it's like uh oh we, i gotta jump into action here so that'd be a fun olympic sport to watch what do you got memes Mowing the lawn. Ooh, yep. yep. That would be great. That would be great. That would be a great one. They probably have that. Yeah, they probably do. Something. In, like, Iowa. Yeah. Why yeah. Iowa? I don't know. They just... John Deere uh, tournament. Sounds a little anti-Iowa. Yeah. No, me. I think I think if you had someone from Iowa here, they'd be like, yeah, mowing the lawn kicks ass. Yeah. It's Let's look at it our up. favorite things to it's do. It's all I have to look forward to yeah. in my bleak Iowan life. Assembling furniture and moving. Okay, okay, moving a couch maybe. Yeah. Moving a couch in a hallway would be a great one. Like oh my obstacles. god, that, that should have be been the number great, one. Yeah, pick. yeah, yeah. Moving a couch in a in a narrow hallway. Because you want to know why it'd be great is everyone thinks they can figure it out. Yep, yep. Then you never can. I like assembling furniture too. Like yeah, yeah. from IKEA. Yeah, I, I had to help someone move this weekend. No, I had was brutal. I had a leather couch that I moved from Connecticut to LA, and it I sat in the garage for a year. And some other thing got delivered. And the guy's like, what's up with that? I go, it doesn't fit. He goes, I'll get it to fit. I go, it's not going to fit. He goes, it's not going to fit. We had movers here. They tried different angles. doesn't fit. I have to have it craned in if I'm ever going to do it. He's like, I'll get it to fit. I go, look, if you can get it up there, I'll give you an extra hundred bucks. I was like, but I don't want to have to pay a thousand to repair all the sheetrock that you're going to fuck up. He's like, I got it. I got it. And him and his buddy, they sat there. They fucking smashed it into my walls. And they're like, yeah, it's not going to fit. <laughs> Oh, I just thought of a good I got to like that, though. But that'd be a great... I'd watch the beginning. Like, yeah. you know how great it would be to intro in the two guys? Yeah. Like, they think it always fits. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I just thought of a good one we should have done. Shaving. Yeah. Just like, you're not... Everybody has, like, a beard. And then you, you're given five minutes. It's like, turn this into something. Yeah. Yeah. On your own face. I like that. And there could be, like, a minimum swipe, like, goal, like, fastest lap. Yep. 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 How many... Yeah. What are you going to say, Billy? From the old Trojan commercial, Sex Olympics. Oh. Are you talking about porn? You got a, you got a porn problem? You Wait, no, that was a porn? Wait, what? The, there was a Trojan commercial. Uh -huh. If you guys remember, there was a this whole campaign when, I know that it's the, the, when there was an Olympics. Long. That was... People would watch that. Yeah, you, anyway, you, you, people would you're watch also talking about sex. You're also talking about porn. Yeah, wait. It's, yeah, so <laughs> I'm not. It's why Olympics. is it different than porn? Yeah, yeah. Tell like us what we need. You're the, you're the Uber for porn. No, no, it's the <laughs> athletic like achievement, like you know, not the because it's not for like visual. It's like the performance based, like speed, endurance, strength. So you're just, just it's porn. <laughs> no, no, it's porn with no, just different times. It's like dancing versus sports. One's a performance. So you're talking about new sports. dancing, but with penetration. Yeah. And so you're talking about porn. really fast porn. No. 
Just the best. I think he's talking about the best porn that you've sports. ever seen. <laughs> yeah. No, but like, I, like. What some, would it be? Like, <laughs> yeah, people, yeah, paint, paint a picture yeah. of you know. Pitch it. Yeah, give me a- loads, longest load. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably give me one. Uh, deepest throat. Yeah. Biggest tits. Well, no, more, more like athletic competition. Like accuracy, okay. hitting the correct endurance. Hole. Wettest foot job. Speed. <laughs> <laughs> no, Billy, walk me through. Like, paint me a picture. What am I looking at on the Volume. screen? Volume. Uh, Volume. <laughs> what? Just volume of pretty sure all this is out there. <laughs> yeah, this is porn. Yeah. No, but like I want to see like like strongman competitions, like our feats of strength. I want to see that for how many times someone can have yeah. sex. I don't know. It's just it was Think in a they have that the too. Yeah. So, so, so Billy, the Tiger Woods biopic. Like who who wins? Who who can make the other person uh, finish first? <laughs> oh, so it's, it's head to head. Yeah. So you look. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, all right. Now I'm into this. So so you win if the other person comes, comes first. first. Yeah. yeah. But you lose if you. <laughs> I think you okay. just made that part up. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Save I, himself. <laughs> I'm into that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who like who wins? So okay. Who, who, who's your goat, Billy? Johnny Sids. Yeah. Nancy Reagan. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, Jake. You, got, you did you have something else? Say bed making. Bed making. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would suck. Yeah. I've but. seen some of those videos where they like yeah, they throw everything it. up, and yeah. I'm like, that's amazing. But I'm never. No. I'm never gonna get there. Yeah, no. Jake is an excellent bed maker. Putting yeah. that putting was a, an outlier. No, it, so Jake stayed over at my place and he made the bed up so nicely. I thought that that was the wrong bedroom. I was like, "There's no chance Jake slept in here." It was better than any hotel bedroom I've ever seen. Dude, when you stay at somebody's place and you make the bed, that's when you're growing up. Yeah, or that's when that's means you're raised. Well, you're raised a Jake, certain way. Yeah, Jake is always Jake was yeah. making the bed when he was. Seven. But that's no. that's something. Yeah. No. I think when I was like 38 the first time I did it. Yeah, and when I did it, I was like, you know what? Things are really. Like, we're still those figuring. Is out. it your uh, your boy Field Yates? He makes the bed in a hotel room every day. That I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I never slept with him. <laughs> you lost. I mean, I think the maids would great leg. like that less. <laughs> he is. <laughs> I'm at Field Yates. <laughs> He's got some game to him. Yeah. Field Yates would definitely be in my Olympics for sex yeah. watching. Dan would Orlowski. you watch Field Yates fuck Billy? <laughs> you know, I was just referencing the commercial. Yeah. But you would, right? It's a right? funny series. Say you would. Say you'd watch him YouTube. fuck. You'd watch him fuck. Is, Field Yates? 